So no, it, it not only doesn't bother me, but that's the pathway I'd rather see him go down. But I still think I understand the perspective, and maybe maybe I, I can too. articulate this. I can. Sure. Yeah, I, I think I think that uh, from Brian's perspective, and from many men who share this view, what they're actually saying is, why him? Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. is it that I'm not good enough for you, but he yes. was good enough for you? Why is it that you refuse? Yeah, yeah. And it'd be worse when there'd be multiple guys. Really, like, nigga? Right. Yeah. So you want us to not only deal with, oh, I'm a born again version. I'm not having sex until marriage. So you want us to deal with that and the fact that, oh, well, th there's been other dudes that hit. What makes them better than, you know, the guy that you're trying to deal with now? So to y'all born again virgins. Can y'all really live up to that standard without disrespecting a man or without disrespecting a man who's willing to sit there and actually work with you while glor and not glorify the man who just sat, the men who sit there and, well, I'm gonna just be real with you, just sludge out. Born again version is just wild. Like I'm still stuck on that. Hey, that's what, they, that's what they're trying to go with. I'm gonna be real with you. There are women who will sit there and be like, oh, I'm a born again version. I'm not having sex until marriage. And a lot of guys sit there just like, like you were slutted out before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and niggas gonna hit you oh, with I the. I forgot about YouTube, so I can't say ah, what ah. I really want to say. And, <laughs> and yeah, and guys don't take that too well. We'll sit there and we'll look at you and be like, "Well, I want the same price the last guy get." Mm -hmm. And that's where women are going to hit you with the like. Well, wait, what? It's like, yeah, I want the I want the same price that your baby daddy got or I want the same price that, you know, the no one night stand got or you feel like you're being disrespected. It feel, yeah. it feel like somebody is selling you a car that you know 5000 but they're trying to give it to you for 50000 It's like, bro, you for real? <laughs> you used to have an intimate relationship with me but would allow yourself to be right. cheapened by him. What sort of person are you that you would think so lowly of me but think so highly of mm. him? And I think... That not only is this objection a good objection, uh, and it's a well-reasoned objection, but it's actually a difficult one to argue with. Low key. It's actually not necessarily. It's actually pretty simple. Like. Okay, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. So I understand because like that's what I was going to bring up is that you've said um, why is it that I have to wait now and kind of take the bullet, but you were out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, please explain in a way where, I don't know, I have to, I don't know, bite the bullet or, you know, feel disrespected or second place. Like, please tell me in a way that make it make sense. You know, being with other men, right? And it's, I get that. But that's the same reason why I wouldn't be with someone that's not Christian or not born again, because we he wouldn't understand it from a spiritual sense of why I'm doing it. Hmm, and right. even... Well Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, the, the religious justifications make so a little... So pretty much you're looking for somebody who went down the same path as her, pretty much. Like, oh, yeah, a guy who went out there, had sex, and all this other stuff, and then turned to Christ and all that good stuff. If you're like, yeah, I guess. If you're looking for the same thing on a point of, oh, well, you can't judge me, I'm going to be real with you. That man still going to want some sex. It's rare that she finds the same thing. Exactly. And that man's still going to want some sex. Like, let's be real. He's going to look at you like, little baby girl, I have my path. It's cool. You have yours. It's like, why the hell are you holding out on me when he's still going to feel the same way? Why mm -hmm. are you holding out on me when you let other dudes in the past hit? And yep. it's good. he's going to feel like, oh, all right, well, they must have been better than me. You're like, apparently, you must have liked getting slutted out instead of being taken seriously. Uh, you, apparently, you like that. You, you're treating the, the men who slutted you out better than the guy who's taking it seriously. Let's keep it real. That's pretty much what you're telling men. More sense in my mind. But from my point of view, I would still have the same exact feelings. But you'll have secular Sorry, women who are atheists or not religious yeah. at all <laughs> who will say, well, in my past 10, 20, 30 sexual encounters, I slept with them instantly or within the first day. Yeah. And even secular women will make this realization arbitrarily. It's right. totally arbitrary. Because they, cause they don't because even know. No, well, there's no my, grounding. My, my secondary objection here also is that you immediately internalized this and made it about yourself. Mm -hmm. So specifically, I'm well, saying because we're talking from about the, hang on, from the myself. perspective of Brian, from uh -huh. the perspective of men who share that view without internalizing it. Right. If possible. Do you agree with me that you can understand why it is that they would be like, look, yeah, I'm, I'm Number two, I'm second class. I'm right, obviously no, no. Yes. worse than whoever this previous and, person right. was. And isn't that a reasoned position? Yeah, and I'll give you, yeah, 
I, I do, and I without think without saying he's in, without saying that he's thinking about it, without gaslighting him, can she make a good point? That that's why two people should not be unequally yoked and being together because there's mm. two different frames. I would I would say that your argument and your feelings are valid, and I can't argue against that because it makes sense. But if for example, I, I dated someone that wasn't Christian. Um, he, he said he was Christian, but not really. And he even told me when I told him I didn't want to have uh, have. Let me be real with you, girls. It, it, it takes a very weak man to take those type of terms. I'm be dead honest with you. It takes a very weak man with low confidence to accept those type of terms. So if you really draw up there and say I'm a born again version and you can't get it, but the mother guy get it and you gotta wait, and the man sit there and sit through that. Come on now, that's a weak ass nigga. I don't care. Oh, that's a real man of God. No, 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 no. He is not a man of Christ. Oh, that's a weak ass nigga. Intercourse with him, whatever. Offer it. He said, you know, I don't really get it, but I respect you and uh, like, oh uh, yeah. Nothing more, you know, nothing but less. He wasn't look at it from from the same spiritual sense. So it, eventually, like he it. got into lust and got frustrated, right? And so that's my whole point. It's like you could, what you're saying makes sense. Like I, I understand that completely, but. That's why you can't be unequally yoked because you guys don't have the same foundation. Well, a, good, a, a girl could be equally yoked. Oh, you're talking about this? Okay, let's that read out the secular. You, you mean you mean like in a, from an interest, like she's interested? No, no, no. Sorry. So from the Bible, un unequally yoked meaning. Does that mean? No. Like, so I'm not going to date someone that's not Christian. Oh, okay. Because, that's what that means. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, um, All it, right. we're, we, yeah, but she's talking about she need to date somebody who's also a born again <laughs> Christian, also lived a sinful past and turned to Christ. So they can have that same understanding and in my eyes i don't even then the dude would be kind of upset and feel second class so pretty much you want to say well since you're like me too you should be punished with no sex either and i need to look at you like yep I, i'm gone <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. we're carrying different burdens we're carrying different things on our right. hearts okay uh, convictions yeah. right and i so i but, yeah yeah so i mean i object to it less from like if the justification for I was previously casually sleeping with a bunch of dudes, but now I'm Christian, the justification there seems more justified. But there are plenty of secular atheist women who have that experience of I'm just going to sleep with a bunch of dudes. Now you've come along. I'm going to make you wait three months. Well, you know what? That's yeah. weird. Yeah. That's so weird. Can, can I just ah, finish ah, quick yeah. before I forget? Okay, so before I gave my life to Christ, I was an atheist. And That's what I'm saying. It's like before I gave my life to Christ, I was an atheist and I was living sinfully and just sleeping with whoever. And that's the problem. You just can't walk it back sometimes. Like, sweetheart, you made those mistakes. Cool. But you gonna have to understand that, yeah, if you're going to deal with any type of, I don't know, man with pride, a man that has to, who respects himself, yeah. you are going to have to bend the knee and be like, yeah, I'm going to have to give the P up like I gave to the lesser men. Mm -hmm. If you see this man as such a high value guy who's submitting to Christ and all that, then why isn't he getting the pussy? Why you got to keep it from him? Why didn't you keep it from the niggas who wasn't? Oh, because you're an atheist, but now you want to turn to Christ and now what? You basically say the niggas who turn to Christ ain't worth the pussy until they put a ring on it. But the dudes back then were worth more because they didn't have to. Like, think about what y'all really saying with your actions, of yeah. course. I know you ain't saying it verbally, but think about it with your actions. And I went two years after my host face. I didn't want anybody touching me because I internally Don't knew matter. that was not okay. I had no reference to Jesus, ah, no reference ah. to the Bible, but I started to slowly... I had the disgust. I started to get God started speaking to me. Now looking back, I know it was Him. But I think secular women, we're all God's word is God's word is written in our hearts. Like we know what's between right and wrong. We know that sleeping around with so many people is not good for a pair body. Let's just bring that in, right? It's just it's not good for us. And so even this though people true. don't know it's because of Jesus, because of God, it's it's happening because we're spiritual beings that we we have well, this. Can you help me out with? Um with one part of this yes so when you say post what you call did you call it ho phase a ho phase h-o-e okay okay the gotcha so phase. post -ho i just want to make sure that yeah. i'm not straw manning you or insulting you i'm not trying to i'm just repeating your words back to you so yeah, post ho phase and i used that term before uh, when you were not that. a christian and uh -huh. you were a secularist still yes. an atheist by your own description how could you make a single justification to brian 
as to why you would not sleep with him if you were dating him. Go ahead and try. I'd actually like to hear it. Mm. So if I wasn't, um, well, I don't know. I wasn't dating in those two years. I wasn't. <laughs> no, but if you, if you were, and you just said, I want to be celibate. Yeah. Because I don't know what reason, but you just said that. What would your actual justification to a man be who said, look, you weren't celibate with the last guy. Ooh. It seems oh, like oh, you just shit. maybe don't like me very much. Because if Ooh. you did, I would think you would be physically intimate with me. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you, on God, you wouldn't sit there and look at that man and say, yeah, but, you know, I'm celibate, and I want you to have, and I want to get married first. And it's like, hold on, I got to jump through hoops for somebody that's already been touched. And here's the mm -hmm. crazy thing. Some of y'all girls not only aren't virgins, but have a kid while saying this. That'd yeah. be the craziest part. What would the actual justification for that be? Just, could I not add only to that? being touched once, but multiple times? Bruh. So it's just like, why would you think a guy would sit there and just be like, all right, well, why wouldn't I feel lesser for like you not wanting to get down with me? Oh, well, mm -hmm. because of God. No, 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 no. You're just using God to just walk back your mistakes of the past. Like maybe I could have a little bit of consideration if, you know, you just had sex one time. Like, you yeah. lost your virginity and then was like, okay, now I want to wait. Nope. But multiple men, mm. more than one time, mm. no excuse. Yep. No, I would be honest. It's not. Nah, what's, so, what's so good about that one guy? I, and you want me to sit through <laughs> and marry you? But, bro, over the night, I want the same price as bro. <laughs> he ain't need to put a ring on it. I don't need to either. That, um... No, you can let her answer, though, and then you can add to it. Um, I mean, just a simple, it's, it's my body, you're not my, I don't know, like it's, I, I guess I don't have any argument spiritually to back it up, but I mean, exactly. I was never selfish. in that. So we're not, yeah. you're being selfish and you're putting, you're like, I ain't gonna lie. You're kind of using the excuse of God to step on niggas, or I would say, put yourself above your partner. It's like, that's really all you're using it for. Well. I'm waiting until marriage because I'm a woman of God. Even though I wasn't a woman of God back then, I was letting all the niggas hit back then. You damn near even telling the times of, the, of all the niggas who used to hit. And he's just supposed to sit there and not hit until when? What? Two, three years until y'all get married? It's not like she's going to be quick with it and be like, oh, I'm trying to get married too in a week so we can get this shit popped. <laughs> she ain't moving like that. No, no, no. You know how these girls moving. They want you to take care of them, do everything everything that a girl who would be giving him sex is let's be real you would be giving her so you're paying bills and doing all this stuff and you get no sex but this girl gave herself and more to other men without paying bills and all that do you feel disrespected <laughs> yet bro do you feel disrespected yet I'm not arguing that you don't have the right whether you're religious or secular yeah. if you're a woman and you've slept with a hundred men and you slept with all of them within the first 30 minutes but then you land on guy number 101 and you want to wait a year not even for religious reasons you're just still an atheist still secular but you're gonna you want to make him wait a year and t until having a secular marriage to sleep with him you can do that that's totally your call but it, yeah but as a guy i can look at that and be like, that's a terrible deal for me. Sure. I'm not gonna. And remember, you brought this back yeah, to and you. And then what are you gonna tell that man? Like, like, come on, can you provide a good argument without calling him? Oh, you're just being insecure. What you gonna say? Oh, you're just not a man of God. He could be a man of God. He's just not accepting being like put below men who weren't men of God. Like, yeah. Think about that. You're asking a man of God who's supposed to be a higher man. And you're asking himself to put himself below men who who aren't. Like, do you hear yourself? You're asking a high value man to lower himself at this point. Really? Okay. You again. Yeah. Right? Well, but it's my body. I don't have to. Okay. So just but thinking you're strictly asking from me, the you on, literally told just me, thinking, and you put me on. in my perspective. How do you want not me? Like, no, 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 no. What I said was think of it through the man's perspective. How would if you, you were thinking argue? Of it, hang on. Let me finish. No. Sorry, Andrew. Love you. If you were thinking of it through just the man's perspective and you were creating a justification, to show the man why he was incorrect, why he shouldn't want to desire that, why he should be celibate right along with you, and that that wasn't actually disrespectful, and that that wasn't actually because you preferred other so guys over him. That. How would you craft such a justification or an argument? Yeah, and let's say that you really want the guys, like, let's say you really want the guy. How are you going to frame that to him? This man damn near perfect for you in every way, shape, and form. 
how are you going to frame that to that guy who can go out and get another girl who could possibly be, I'm going to be real with you, turn to God and all that, but just ain't with the celibacy bullshit. It's like, how are you going to beat that one? It's like I said, mm -hmm. you're still in a competition at the end of the day. And you retracting sex and all that, I'm going to be real with you, you putting yourself at the bottom oh, of the my list, God. I love, the bottom of the list. Without using the prism of my body, my choice, which was already granted. If that's already granted. They already know that you don't have to have sex with them. Duh. The perspective here is the prism of why is it you won't have sex with me, though, if we're dating, but you would with other people absent. Of and you know what? You can also frame this in the sense of, OK, look, I'm going to give you all some girls some advice. Shut the hell up. OK, about your whole past, about your whole way. Shut the fuck up up okay you fuck up a good thing for yourself right you had this nigga ready to take your ass out on a date and all that this nigga is ready to go tomorrow with you and then you just say some stupid ass whole shit i'm sorry i'm sorry a lot of y'all girl i've heard too many stories i've even experienced it myself y'all say stupid shit that fuck it all up for you like trust me I've had women that just came out flat out, said some wild ass shit about some whole shit they did back in the day. And I'm over here about to take them on a date. And I'm over here, damn near over here canceling the date. That's what I'm talking, going like, hell no. Hold on, I need to spit. Hold on. So, wait, am I getting damn. that too? And when they say no, you lie. Hold on, wait, no. Hold on, hold on. You just told me about how you let old dude come through and hit. But I got to go out on a date yeah. and not get it? Bro, they'll tell you this shit to your face and expect you to go along, my friend. And it's up to you if you want to be that type of sucker. <laughs> a religious framework. How would you even make that argument? Uh, I'm going to call in a friend. I'll let it go. <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting. No, no, no. I, no I don't know. I don't have I got to know. I, I, got, I, I would like to know the actual answer. Well, I'm telling you, and you don't. I don't know. Because the only answer I have is, well, I mean... Because to me, it's like, it's either black and white. It's you're Christian or you're secular. You're away from God. So it's like, if you're not walking with God, then the only justification is just your feelings and your emotions. And that's all forever fleeing. So there is no real stable argument to it. I think even away from, okay, let's get away from the Bible, secular, right? Coming back to your argument of your justification of, okay, I feel, I feel horrible. Like she doesn't want to sleep with me. I think that's where communication comes in. Hey, this is why. And not only that, there's honestly... If I were a guy, I'd kind of be like, okay, asking that that clarification. But obviously, there was something that happened between from 100 to 101. There wasn't wow. fulfillment in those first 100, probably, realistically. Yeah. Like, she's seen the same thing, and she's jumping from guy to guy to guy to guy. Maybe. Uh, no, no, no. 101? I don't know. I don't know. There was something 101? being. 101? Yeah, I don't know about that. There was definitely something being, like, you know, fulfilled. Like, I don't know about all that. Like you talk about, I don't know. There was even it was unfulfilling. One hundred and one It's like no, you just notice that your inability to now pair bond is being affected. You're noticing that from guy to guy. You probably had a good guy, and you kind of realize that yo, I can't even attach to this man. Then that's where it hits y'all. Then you go on this celibacy run for about a year or two to try to you know I guess cleanse yourself. It's a little bit. It doesn't really work out honestly, but. I'm going to tell you this right now. It all wouldn't have happened if you just didn't, I don't know, devalued yourself in the first place and fall for the yeah. mind control of the media. Maybe there is a, a cycle fault. of something that she wasn't being fulfilled, so she's like, and okay. Since it's your fault, you shouldn't make nobody else suffer. Because that's what you're making a man do. You're making a man suffer. That's your fault. Yeah. He ain't got nothing to do with you sleeping with all them men. You did that. Mm. You're a grown ass woman. You did that. It's the hard <laughs> truth. So yeah, he has every right to sit there and tell you in your face that's not a fair deal. And it's a bit selfish. And you're not acting in, in the way of God. You're acting pretty selfishly. It's like you're using God as an excuse to be selfish, which is crazy. <laughs> I don't need to feel fulfilled in sex anymore. I want to see if they could provide for me spiritually or mentally or anything besides physically because anyone could go in and have sex when with me. I, uh, give you when I make an argument to yeah. you. Yeah, no, and yeah, I'm not I saying take, there's I take, argument. I, I take I my understand. time. Hang on. I take my time to understand your worldview. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to well, take my shoes off and put yours on. So now yeah. I'm you and think like you. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're trying to get everything out of a man without, you know, 
get a man get what he wants. And it's like, at this point, like, you're just cucking a dude. At this point, mm -hmm. you're disrespectful. Because I think like you, this is what I think. At this right? point, they want to get you That's going. the, the good position to at make an point. argument to a person. It's called an internal critique. You're now, adopting. Be real with you. If, if old girl's a virgin and she's talking like that, a lot of dudes would be like, oh, okay, great. Yeah, because, you know, she's a virgin. Ain't nobody had her. Yeah, but, you know, nigga might do things on the side, but that's mm -hmm. that. But it's just. But still, you know. <sighs> waiting on that he waiting on that but he ain't gonna sit there and wait that's what i'm saying you want the privileges of some of a woman who actually waited who actually had that patience and that self-control mm -hmm. it's like those are two virtues that you didn't have at the moment so you gotta give it up she deserves those awards and benefits of being a virgin you don't because you didn't have those you turned away from god and yeah hey that's on you that's i'm glad you found your way back well glad hallelujah and all that good stuff but you still got to deal with the consequences of your actions. God doesn't erase that for you. I'm going to tell you that right now. ...their skin for a moment. You're uh, analyzing what it is that they think and why they know, think. Think about it like this. If an unalive or somebody who takes people's lives, take a life, turn to God the next day and go to court, shoot, do they care that he turned to God the next day? Do they care? Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> this, again, you internalized, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of doing that, I think of it only answer. from the perspective <laughs> of Brian. You're trying to it's step into his example, shoes, and no, you're utilizing what it. Brian thinks mm -hmm. in order to demonstrate to Brian why it would be perfectly acceptable for you to put him as number two. Forget Ooh. personal trauma, Wait, this and that, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Why, from one. Brian's perspective, would he be incorrect in feeling that way? I mean, he's not incorrect in feeling mean? that. It's... It comes down to his choice too, if that's not something he wants so to do. So it is logical of. for him to feel that yeah. way. Yeah, it is, 100%. It's rational, it's rational for him to feel that way. Yeah, it is. Yes. It makes total happen. sense for him to feel that way. Yes, exactly. Yes. I mean, people are going to be attracted to each other, of course. Like, even in me with the situations are I was involved. Twins? Of course, yeah, I wanted to have sex with them and everything. And then the guy was like, well, I want to have sex with you, so on and so forth. And I understand exactly where you're coming from. Of course, the man is going to, we're, we're humans. We have that desire to be intimate with someone. And yeah, it, it, it sucks to be maybe that person who's at 101. And then at that point, that's where a choice is made. Like, yeah. are you so, willing so to So how do you that? tell a non-Christian, in this case, Brian, mm -hmm. from his perspective, that he shouldn't have those expectations if he's dating a woman who was sleeping with her previous boyfriends? How could you yeah. ever justify to them why they shouldn't have that expectation? That's what I'm really getting at. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make no sense. I mean... Go, you, can't. you can't really have you can't really force them to have you like, can understanding. and that's why you should never correct men in public because some of us <laughs> oh can't my God. do that because some of us yeah. can do that yeah. and some of you can't do that sure. but, but it's but like this feelings are feelings but this is my whole point right it's like you can't actually nah, bro being disrespected i'm gonna be real with you dog if you accepting that type of deal from a woman bro you're yes you're being put as the second place you're being disrespected as a man like I said, go ahead and ask yourself. Hold on. What made them do so better? I'm this man of God. I'm supposed to be this higher male, but I'm being put below lower mm -hmm. males? It's like, think about how that looks, G. Come on. Think about it. All right, then. Give a single justification from his worldview for why it is he shouldn't feel that way. So basically, do you realize what you're doing is you're actually signaling to Brian that it's actually okay for him to have those expectations because as long as he doesn't share your Christian worldview... Right? Why not? And he can't well, even I tell can't, him a single you, reason from his own worldview. Why should he? I can't expect him to not be all up in his feelings and think selfishly. Like, oh, well, why doesn't she want to have sex think with me? Selfishly. Oh. Huh. It's a crazy statement. Okay, bro. But let's let's. Oh, but from his perspective, he thinks you're selfish. He right. thinks you fucked. You fucked yeah, the other guys, and selfish. just not right. him. But you that think seems that, like it's more but selfish. But you don't right? think that. Like you don't think myself. I won't speak for other girls, but like we don't have desires. Like we don't have. Of course, like, human I think desires. you do. So yeah. we're also sacrificing, but it comes no. to sacrificing and and but dying to our, and dying to our flesh, dying to ourselves. See, it's that. Oh well, you need to sacrifice like I'm sacrificing. Cause what about me? Don't you think I have desires too? It's like sweetheart. If you dare ever compare your desire to a man's desire, you're stupid. I'm just you're gonna stupid. be real. Like you, 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 like just go ahead and hop on the short bus for me, because. Uh, Look, there was an experiment done. 
where women was given, I guess, like one or two percent of the testosterone that men have. And these women went buck wild. They wanted to have sex almost every hour on the hour. And they was wow. like, and this is what y'all deal with? Bro, women, would they, they hopped out test like, this is what men deal with? I'm like, on a daily basis. On a daily basis. So when you sit there and tell a man, oh, where's that? Oh, you should sacrifice just like me. I'm like, sweetheart, you don't even have none of the sex drive that I do. But you're telling me I got to sacrifice? Like, sweetheart, where was your sacrifice when you was messing with all them dudes? Hold on. You want to talk about sacrifice? You just now started sacrificing is supposed to count? Oh, oh. Oh, ain't that crazy? Because we're worshiping our God. But you're internalizing again. I my, feel, I feel me, me, me. I me, even think me, right, me, but, me, but, I me. Have, but, but I have to because that's the point. You don't have that to. That I'm in no. my, I do, to make my. You don't. I think too in relationships, if you're pondering on no, 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 your own no, back up. You, you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you here. You yeah. actually don't. It's crazy. It's so crazy how, like, the only two entities, the two people that's allowed to look at a girl's past is the credit bureau and an employer. <laughs> Those are the only two people that you can look at a girl's past and they ain't going to bitch about it. <laughs> credit bureau <laughs> and the goddamn... Man. <laughs> oh, shit. What was the other one I said? I said credit bureau and... Employer. And yep, and their employer. The only two people that can look at a girl's past and they ain't gonna say not a damn thing. <laughs> you can juxtapose yourself onto another human being so that you can understand their own rationale. But when you do do that in this case, you find yourself having zero justification for why it is that Brian shouldn't feel that exact way, that he's being rational. Hang on, he's being emotionally rational. He's being logical. There, you have well, that's what nothing sin that is, you can right? say Being to him external of your own experience, yeah, and what? that is what drives the guys who think like. Nigga, come on, swear that's not sin. Like, let's be real. I could we can damn near relate what she is doing as sin. It's like you're being very prideful of yourself. So all of a sudden you got God, now you're just this prideful woman who can just feel like she can just put herself over other man's needs. And then let's be real. You're a woman. You're supposed to submit to your man. So what are you doing not submitting to your man trying to put your shit over him? I'm a cel oh, I'm a celibate. I'm celibate. I'm a woman of God. That goes over whatever you got going on. How is that man a leader at that point? You're not making no sense here. You're not even following the Holy Scripture. Brian fucking crazy because they don't understand why you can't tell them that it's incorrect for them to even think this way because it's rational and it's reasonable and it makes complete sense from your own perspective well i'm not saying it's not rational i'm saying he has he can feel what he's feeling and i understand why he's feeling that because we don't have the same framework so how am i going to justify okay let's go back to me being secular secular and atheist whatever and you're telling me to go give an argument i don't have that argument because even when i and I'm, I'm trying not to internalize myself i'm just putting myself back in that spot when i was living that life it's like i can't i don't know there's just there is no argument but i'm not right i'm not even trying to argue that like he is you're justified to feel that way and the girl's also justified to say i don't want to do this even though i don't know why and that's it like what there, it doesn't um, mean it, it's right do you, or wrong. Do you, and let me ask you a question if you were in a host of a thousand people and you're asked this question and you said there is no justification, he's absolutely correct in feeling that way, and so is she, and it's totally rational. It's who correct the from hell, a, hang on, it's from who the correct. hell have you convinced? Who the hell have you convinced of your worldview if you say he's totally rational because and reasonable in doesn't... this worldview, and so am I? Okay, yeah, somebody got to lose nobody. here. Okay, because how? Again, how can I convince a sinner to not sin? Whoa. Well, like I said, you're supposed to be his woman, right? You're supposed to submit to him, right? So if he wants sex, you got to submit and give him the sex. And I know really, nigga? Christian girls are going like, well, yes, 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 you do. Like like I said, especially if you want them born again ones. If you're a virgin, look, you got whole different rules applied to you. Look, he going to wait, okay? Guy, you, you got to wait. She, she the real thing. If she's not, and she's one of these born again hooligans, then I'm gonna have to advise you to just let that one go. She ain't trying to let you hit the same way she let the other guys hit. Then I'm gonna be real with you, man. Just be let her go. You. She's just trying to make you pay 50K when the other dudes paid only five. 
Mm-mm. And I'm not saying that, like, and I'm just saying. He, I'm sorry, don't you have a ministry? Correct, but. Okay, Man, so you want me to bring in Jesus? Duty? I can bring in Jesus, but I, I'm thinking we're talking about when I'm an atheist hey, or Jesus a secular. That, like, let's either not, way. Unless, okay, let's bring it back if I was an atheist secular, okay? It's hard for me to think that because I'm thinking naturally now, well, it's black and white. I'm a Christian, and I see that we shouldn't be having, I, I chose not to have sex because of X, Y, and Z. But then Brian, who- All right, then go be a nun and go off somewhere in a farm somewhere. Ah, Damn, ah. not for real. <laughs> Y'all women need to just go be nuns because no respectable man is going to deal with you in modern <laughs> society, okay? So go off somewhere in a farm, gather you, start a Facebook group, or I don't know, get a ranch, and just go go be nuns, okay? Stop dealing with us. Stop, stop, stop dealing with men in society and just go be nuns and go do, read the Bible and do all that nice wild. stuff. And then start an orphanage and adopt some kids, okay? Do something useful instead of being out here giving men headaches. <laughs> like, God damn, they killing me. Who is has oh, no desire to follow God or the Bible or anything like that? He's like, well, that's not fair. It's like, well, yeah, I get that because you're not seeing it from a biblical standpoint or from a spiritual standpoint. Because right. Brian, I was there too. Like, I get that, standpoint. and so and it's killing me. So, so then, how in the world? Because you could tear our argument up biblically as well. It's like, all right, cool. Yeah. Well, you want to hop biblically? Let's do that. And you can still get torped that way. So it's like, sweetheart.